Today we are doing a tone profile, but not of just one guitar, two guitars, and they are some of the most legendary Gibson guitars ever made. Stick around. Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And like I said, today we're doing another tone profile video. These are some of my favorite to make, and uh, we're doing two guitars today. And you can probably guess why. I mean, if you know anything about these two, they're pretty similar, but in a lot of ways they're very different. Um, we got the Gibson Les Paul and the Gibson SG. And today we're working with a Gibson Standard 50s over here on the Les Paul, and this is the Standard 61 on the SG. And I chose these because they're kind of just quintessential versions of these guitars. They're both kind of modified versions of the classic, the 50s and 60s, and they kind of keep it as simple as it can be. Um, start with the similarities. They are both mahogany bodies, mahogany neck. Um, they both got humbuckers. These have burst buckers, one and two, and these are the 61 burst buckers. Um, they both have Rosewood fretboard, vintage tuners, tunematic bridge, and a stop tail piece on the end. Um, Three-way switch and four knobs down below. We got volume and tone for both the uh, bridge and neck pickups. Um, the difference in these kind of come in the details. This one is, uh, you know, the top has a maple cap. You can see it on this uh, bourbon burst finish. Uh, which adds to a lot of the weight on this one. Um, it's obviously a thicker body as opposed to this very thin, um, just two-piece mahogany right here. And um, the controls are placed a little differently and that can kind of come into someone's preference. Uh, you know, you got the three-way toggle up on the top on the Les Paul and down below with the knobs. And our own Chris McKee cites that as his least favorite thing about the SG and why he does not play one. Um, but so we're going to compare the tones. We're going to kind of see how that body thickness and weight might affect what are essentially the same pickups and just kind of see how the tones come out differently on these two guitars. But really just kind of dive into what humbuckers sound like on your bridge and your neck pickup and both of them playing at the same time. We're going to do a little bit of both and then add some overdrive at the very end. Check it out. So you were just listening to the neck pickup on both of these guitars. As you can tell, it's a very classic humbucker, clean, rounded rhythm tone. But you know, you might start to hear a little bit of the difference. And as we work through these, try and take note of how maybe some brighter, um, you know, kind of snappier tones might come from the thin body versus the resonance and the warmth of the thicker body Les Paul. Um, next, we're going to move to a blend of both pickups. This is a middle selector on the three-way toggle. 
and um, it's going to be blending the bridge and the neck pickup. So next we're going to take a look at the bridge pickup on both of these. This is where you'll really start to hear kind of the difference and why some players might gravitate towards one or the other in terms of the very uh, high treble, high gain sounds. And then after we check out the bridge pickup, we're going to add a little overdrive and just kind of play around on both of them and really see what they can do. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, there you have it. That's a very quick overview of what these guitars kind of in their purest state might sound like uh, when you're just running through simple amp setup. Um, really diving into what humbuckers sound like, but as you probably know, you can find these guitars with any number of pickup configuring. Um, you know, we did some recent stuff with P90s on Les Paul. You can find P90s on both of these. You might find three pickups or you might find one. Um, there's a lot of different variations and I think it's just worth it to kind of dive into what they were and what they still can be and what you can hear different in both of them. Um, fun fact about me, my first favorite guitar player was Angus Young and this was probably my first favorite guitar and now one of my favorites is Derek Trucks and you know driving home that SG for me. but. You can think of a million players that have played both of these guitars and made them their own, and you can find your own personal tone with both of these. Um, you know, this, this guitar reaches the body on the neck at the 22nd fret, and this one is at the 16th fret, and I think that might kind of inform what, uh, what type of players would gravitate towards both. You can get really high, really easy on this one. That's not to say that you can't on this one either. Um, they're both great guitars, both got um, awesome tones just by themselves, and We'd love to hear what you think. You know, let us know if you can hear the differences. Let us know if you think that I'm a liar. Um, but otherwise, you know, they're just, they're just great. You can find all kinds of Gibsons or all other guitars on our website. And just remember to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. Check out some more tone profiles. Thanks for watching.